Well, something that we never expected has now arrived in the United States of America. Right now, the state of Washington is literally rationing food. And I predict this could spread across the U.S. Even the United Nations is warning of global starvation. But before I get into the report, just a quick break. A newly discovered software flaw is one of the most critical vulnerabilities of the last decade for anyone with an internet connected device. The software vulnerability grants hackers, spies, and criminals easy access to your information and your data off of countless enterprise level websites. Security experts across the country are ringing the alarm saying everyone is at risk. Your privacy, it's in your hands. This is why I personally recommend to you and I personally use Virtual Shield, a VPN at hidewithlisa.com and I do not use my internet without it. Virtual Shield will help protect your online data from hackers, uh, from your mobile carrier, from your online data mining companies, and even uh, your internet service provider. The best part is, is Virtual Shield is one of the few VPNs that have a strict no log policy, which means that your internet search history is not kept on file and not stored on their servers. I really couldn't be more thrilled with the peace of mind that Virtual Shield gives me. And it's so easy to sign up. All you have to do is go to hidewithlisa.com. And on that website, they've got two amazing offers. One, a 30-day free trial. You can try it out for free. And second, you can get... 50% off for life and even higher than that, depending on what you do. Uh, but click on start now for free to sign up. From there, just enter your login information. You can enter an email address that is good for you and then just select your preferred payment method. But again, there's a 30 day free trial and a 30 day money back guarantee and 24 seven helpful support. So check it out right now at hidewithlisa.com and make sure your family and yourself are protected from these vulnerabilities and hackers and DDoS attacks. You want more information? Check it out in the description box below. All right, back to the broadcast. So let's take a look at what's happening over in D.C. Take a look at this tweet that was put out by the D.C. Homeland Security and Emergency Management. And it states this, if you're hitting the grocery store to prepare for winter weather, please just buy what you need and leave some for others. You may have noticed empty shelves in some stores due to national supply chain issues, but there is no need to buy more than you normally would. In other words, let's ration what we have in the grocery store because we have real problems with the supply chain and we're trying to warn the American people that things are going to potentially get worse. In fact, I like the way that this was retreated uh, or retweeted by Raheem who said this, rationing hits S whole DC. And I don't believe I disagree with him on that point. Not only that, but most of you have been paying attention to some of the grocery stores yourself. In fact, there's a hashtag that has gone viral on Twitter that's hashtag empty shelves Biden showing just how bad things really Really are with this Biden administration. And here's just some of the stuff uh, that you can see on Twitter with these empty shelves. Even my local grocery stores that I've been going to all are massively out of products uh, and even services. If you go to do stuff for your car, you're running short on supplies or certain things that you might need for your car or your washer or dryer or your appliances and the whole nine yards. Thanks to the Biden administration, this is now the stuff that we are dealing with. And this actually goes on and on and on uh, with states all all across the country. But this burden is widely being felt uh, by Americans all across the state. And the truth of the matter is things are not getting better. They are getting far worse. In fact, this was admitted by even the Wall Street Journal. Take a look at this article here. And they talk about some of the problems that we're having. And it says U.S. food supply is under pressure from plants to store to shelves. Weeks of workers calling in sick to continue supply and transportation disruptions, making store shelves harder to find. It goes on to state this. The food industry executives and analysts warn that the situation could persist for weeks or months, even as the current wave of COVID-19 infections ease. Recent virus-related absences among workers have added to continuing supply and transportation 
transportation disruptions, keeping some food scarce. Nearly two years ago, the COVID lockdowns drove a surge in grocery store buying that cleared the shelves of products such as meat, baking ingredients, and paper goods. Now, some executives say that supply challenges are worse than ever. The lack of workers leaves a broader range of products in short supply. Food industry executives said with availability sometimes changing daily. So as you can see, there is a real strain on our food supply on our products. And there's something that's about to make it a whole lot worse. And that is the fact of farmers having to deal with increased prices from fertilizer. Take a look at this article here. Also on the Wall Street Journal, it says farmers are failing as fertilizer prices drive up cost of food. And it goes on to state this from South America's avocado, corn and coffee farms to Southeast Asia's plantation of coconuts and oil palms, high fertilizer prices are weighing on farmers across the developing world, making it much costlier to cultivate and forcing many to cut back on production. That means that grocery store bills could go up even more in 2022, and that would be damaging. Following a year in which global food prices rose to decade highs, an uptick would exasperate hunger already acute in some parts of the world because of the pandemic leaked job losses and thwart efforts by politicians and central bankers to subdue inflation. In fact, this article goes on to quote the United Nations and the World Bank, even warning of such. And, and, and considering that leftist groups and, and global elitist groups like the UN and World Economic Forum are warning about this, this is a huge red alarm. But here it is. Lower fertilizer use will inevitably weigh on food production and quality quality, affecting food availability, rural incomes, and the livelihoods of the poor, said Joseph, the deputy director of the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization's Trade and Market Division. In other words, when you're starting to say stuff like that, that means that there is going to be problems with the food supply, and this is going to cause starvation across the globe. And here's what the World Bank also had to say. As the pandemic enters year three, more households are having to cut down on the quality and quantity of food that they can Consume. The World Bank said in a note last month, noting that high fertilizer prices were adding to cost. Around 2.4 billion people la lacked access to adequate food in 2020, which is up 320 million from the year before it said. Inflation rose to about 80% of emerging market economies last year, with roughly a third seeing double digit food inflation, according to the World Bank bank. So this is a major problem all across the globe. You guys already know you're well aware of the inflated prices you're now paying for food. And if we take this added farmer fertilizer crisis, then we should expect even higher prices at the grocery store. And this is a, a, a hidden tax, by the way, by the Democratic Party. That's why I don't believe that we have an administration right now who cares at all about trying to stop this inflation. And the people that it hurts most is the middle class and the lower class. And we are the ones who are at risk right now. In fact, um, there is an inside report that was revealed by Michael Snyder's uh, End of the American Dream that I want to show you talking about a, a, an insider farmer that he has that leaked information to him. Take a look at this article. And it's a farmer insider has warned me that the coming food shortages are going to be far worse, far worse than what we're being told. And here it is. He says, I didn't realize how dire things have already gotten until I received an email from a farming insider that I have corresponded with over the years. I asked him if he can share some of the information that he has uh, been sharing with me and he said okay you can share it but you're going to have to keep the information secret and here's what he actually said here's what the farmer insider said things for 2022 are interesting and scary input costs for things like fertilizer liquid nitrogen and seeds are like triple and quadruple the old prices it will not be profitable to plant this year let me repeat the economics will not work our plan is to drop about 700 acres acres of corn off and convert to soybean. They use less fertilizer and we also have chicken manure for our, uh, from that operation. Guess what? We are not the only ones with those plans. Already there is a shortage of soybean seeds, so we will see how that will work out. The way I see it, there will be a major grain shortage later in the year, especially with corn. I mean, we are small with that. What about these people in the Midwest who have like 10,000 acres of corn? This will 
not be good. In other words, the alarm bells are sounding. Uh, they're tr- the farmers are trying to say, hey, we've got some real problems here. It's not going to be that profitable profitable for us, not that profitable, but profitable for us uh, to, to go forward with certain productions. So we could see massive shortages in corn <laughs> is in pretty much a majority of our foods. This could strike uh, the very core of the United States of America. And this is an unexpected, I wouldn't say not so much unexpected, but it's a surprise and a strike that I don't think America will see coming at the level that it may come this year in 2022. And on top of all of that, um, uh, we have the BNSF actually uh, talking about or, or initiating a strike. Uh, and take a look here. This is on Fox News, and it says 17,000 union employees for BNSF prepare to strike. A new policy, a work policy for the BNSF railway that starts February 1st has prompted more than 17,000 employees to decide to go on strike over what they call the worst attendance policy ever. So here we also have strikes happening uh, with truckers by the way, also striking uh, there uh, with Canada because of the vaccine mandates. And we also have uh, strikes happening here with the railway. This is how all our goods and our supplies are all transported in all of the industries, from the train industry to the trucking industry to the shipping supply crisis, are all affected and impacted to our farmers, everything at the very core, very core. So we have to start understanding and being prepared for things here in the United States of America because it could get bumpy. Anyhow, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. They've been removing people in mass. And with that, I love all of you. You guys, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.